Hello, I'm lead academic tutor Karen Morash. Um, I oversee the BA Theatre Studies at Rose Bruford College of Theatre and Performance. We get a lot of questions from potential applicants about credit exemption, um, so I've created this video just to give you a brief introduction to the process. So we call credit exemption um, our pal or our our. PEL with an extra E. Um, recognition of prior learning or RPEL is credit for academic modules or classes undertaken within the last five years at the higher or further education level. So any class or module that you're applying for must match one of ours quite closely in terms of content and learning outcomes. And that is up to level five only. We don't offer credit for level six. Um, if you want recognition of prior experiential learning, this is credit for work experience. And we recognize that there is valuable learning within professional work experience, um, which has been undertaken in the last five years. Um, the work experience has to very closely link again to our mo module content and learning outcomes. For example, we have a module called Theatres at Work, which looks at the theatre industry and context and so on. If you have, say, worked as a producer um, and you had to do things like uh, fill out funding forms, think about the personnel in theatres, think about theatres within their context, that experience might allow you to get credit um, for Theatres at Work. Um, or there's, you know, if, if you worked in musical theatre, we have musical theatre modules and so on. It just really depends on whether your work links up with the content of the module. And again, that has to be within the last five years. So applicants must complete a form which really precisely maps over the learning content um, and the the outcomes, what we call the ILOs, um, or the work experience. So you will have a form where you detail your experience or your learning and you'll map that over to our um, content and our ILOs. So we will provide you with a course specification for the BA Theatre Studies, which will allow you to do that. So you have to pre present really robust evidence. So you can't just say that you've done it, you have to document it. So if you're going for recognition of prior learning, this generally means a course specification that outlines what um, the content is that studied, outlines the learning outcomes and so on. But any, we'll need transcripts, anything really that gives us a you know confirmation that you have undertaken this learning if it's recognition for um, experiential learning things like job descriptions contracts funding applications pr material basically any kind of archive that you can put together of your previous experience we'll need some references from you if you're applying for uh, previous learning, usually an academic reference, someone that you studied with is, is appropriate for that. Um, and you also will need to pay a 75 application fee. So this is a flat fee. Um, you pay the same fee, regardless of how many modules you're applying for credit for. So how do you apply? So first of all, you contact me. Uh, my email address is there. Um, we can discuss your case. Um, I might meet with you just to get a little bit more information and just to advise you whether or not it's worth proceeding with. Because obviously you have to pay a fee. It's a little bit of an effort. You want to make sure that you, know, you actually have a good case. Then you gather your evidence. So it's best to do that first <laughs> rather than going through the effort of filling out the application form only to realize that you don't really have the right evidence that you need. So then you fill out the form, attach the evidence, send it to me, I'll look it over. If I think you need to fill in some gaps, I'll let you know. And then you'll be invoiced for the 75 pounds. And then the application goes to a committee who considers your case and informs you of the outcome. So important things to note. In order to apply for the course itself, you have to do that separately. So there are two separate processes. So whilst you're applying for RPEL, you should also apply for the course itself. If you need the application form um, on the uh, Rose Bruford webpage, if you look for our course, BA Theatre Studies, you should be able to access the application form there. You can be awarded 
up to 180 credits. So it's actually kind of rare to get 180 credits. Sometimes students do. If you do, that means level entering at level five. It's not possible at the moment to enter at level six. If your credits were completed more than five years ago, but you have still continuously used the skills involved, you may still be able to put in a claim. It's worth discussing it with me anyhow. So for example, um, say you undertook a module about playwriting um, and you looked at some significant playwrights that we cover, um, but that was eight years ago. But since then you've been writing plays and you've been considering um, the techniques and skills that playwrights use. You might be able to apply for credit for the playwright modules. As mentioned, credit is available for level five and level, level four and level five modules only. And if you're awarded RPEL or uh, experiential learning, you'll need to complete an independent research project at the end of the course in order to graduate. So if you've had credit exemption, you can't graduate with an ordinary degree. You'll need to finish the IRP um, at the end, which would get you an honors degree, which is what most students do anyhow. And that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, get in touch at the email address provided. I'm happy to have a chat with you about it. Um, and we'll take it from there.